Jeffrey Wall, born September 29, 1946, is a Canadian artist best known for his large-scale backlit Seabachrome photographs and art history writing. Wall has been a key figure in Vancouver's art scene since the early 1970s. His photographic tableaus often take Vancouver's mixture of natural beauty, urban decay and postmodern and industrial featurelessness as their backdrop. Presenting his first gallery exhibition in 1978 as an installation, rather than as a photography show. Wall placed the destroyed room in the storefront window of the Nova Gallery, enclosing it in a plasterboard wall. The photo, Mimic 1982, typifies Wall's cinematographic style and according to art historian Michael Fried, characteristic of Wall's engagement in his art of the 1980s with social issues. A 198 times 226 centimeters color transparency. It shows a white couple and an Asian man walking towards the camera. The sidewalk, flanked by parked cars and residential and light industrial buildings, suggests a North American industrial suburb. The woman is wearing red shorts and a white top, displaying her midriff. Her bearded, unkempt boyfriend wears a denim vest. The Asian man is casual but well-dressed in comparison, in a collared shirt and slacks. As the couple overtake the man, the boyfriend makes an ambiguous but apparently obscene and racist gesture. Holding his upraised middle finger close to the corner of his eye, slanting his eye in mockery of the Asian man's eyes. The picture resembles a candid shot that captures the moment and its implicit social tensions but is actually a recreation of an exchange witnessed by the artist. Another work is Picture for Women, 1979. Art critic Jed Pearl describes Picture for Women as Wall's signature piece. Picture for Women is a 142.5 times 204.5 cm cibachrome transparency mounted on a light box along with the destroyed room. Wall considers picture for women to be his first success in challenging photographic tradition. According to Tate Modern, the success allows Wall to reference both popular culture, the illuminated signs of cinema and advertising hoardings, and the sense of scale he admires in classical painting. As three-dimensional objects, the light boxes take on a sculptural presence impacting on the viewer's physical sense of orientation in relationship to the work. Wall's work advances an argument for the need for pictorial art. Some of Wall's photographs are complicated productions involving cast, sets, crews and digital post-production. They have been characterized as one-frame cinematic productions. Most of his works are descriptive, but it's not like other normal photos. His work is worth learning.